Okay, Shawa Makin, first and foremost. I want to give all praises and all glory unto the true and living power, which is Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Bashim Racha Kadash. Yahweh is the true name of the Heavenly Father. Yahweh Shai is the true name of his only begotten Son, and there's no God beside them. And I want to give double honors unto the apostles and elders of the Great Millstone who are well, who have taught us this truth through the Spirit and Power, Yahweh Bashim Rashai, and honor and salutation to the elect Dakim doing these works of sincerity and in truth. So this is going to be a real, real quick uh, lesson. Right? Right? It says, um, you don't mess around with demons. Exorcist condemned book that teaches kids to summon evil spirits. See? And it got a picture of, a, of an evil spirit right here. And um, I'll never forget it. Apostle Tahar said that one of them um, one of uh, uh, one of the men who he was around back in the days, I forget who, he asked to see the spirit world. I don't know what made him want to say that, you know, but uh, he asked to see the spirit world and he said he saw all different types of crazy shit and he got sick. So uh, pretty much, man, I'm just bring out this article, maybe uh, uh, pro well, quote one scripture and then um, end it off. You know, mainly this lesson is for the article just to show, you know, what's 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 up, man. And speaking the spirit is, of course, as well. So it says, uh, the International Association of Exorcists, the AIE, took the rare step of warning parents about a children's book of demons. A book teaching kids as young as five how to summon demons to help with problems like bullies and chores. This is unbelievable, bro. This is fucking unbelievable. You know, 2020 is coming in swinging. All right? I got a lot of uh, potential lessons I want to do in my head. That's another title, man. 2020 is going to come in swinging, man. You know when you got a boxing match or a UFC match? It's the first round. Bang, so that's they ring the bell. They come in just beating the shit out of each other. Coming in swinging. That's how 2020 is looking like it's coming in. You got the demonization, you know, of the, of the true men of the Lord. You got Trump's impeachment. Okay? You got a lot of food recalls. You got a lot of birds falling out of the sky and you got mainstream uh, demon worship. Okay. Amongst many other things, man. You know, you got a, a, a lot of places still going out of business. There's a potential, the brother Kwadar Shapat threw it up. There's another potential uh, uh, um, government shutdown. 2020 is going to come in swinging, man. It says a, a children's book of demons, a book teaching kids as young as five how to summon demons to help with problems like bullies and chores. The, the bizarre book published earlier this year shows children ages five to ten how to summon various multi-limbed razor tooth evil spirits to solve their problems using a series of simple sim symbols, easy to draw for little hands. Dinner unappealing? Summon a demon to turn it into cookies. Don't want to go to school? Summon a demon to make you sick. The exorcists are livid. And there's the book here. A children's book of demons. See? And they're making it look like it's a cartoon. That looks like any cartoon show. But this is the real deal. See? It says a children's book of demons. It's the real deal when you know, because you got exorcists condemning this. They said don't mess around with demons, man. And forget about it. Five to ten years old in 2020, forget about it. These parents don't watch their kids. They give them the tablet and they off. These kids don't, these parents don't know what they're doing. You just so happen to get this book. They get they get a hold of this book some way, somehow. You know? They stumble across it on, on YouTube. You know, or whatever the case may be. They get it in school or, you know. Whatever the case may be, man, it's, it's a wrap. Okay. So, it says, um. <laughs> yeah, some way, somehow, these kids are getting this damn book anyway, man. They shouldn't even be getting this damn book. 
Okay, so um, it goes on to say, a children's book of demon presents summoning demons as something ordinary and recommendable. AIE President Father Francisco Bamante seized in a recent statement, inviting children to ally themselves with them to take advantage of them. You don't mess around with demons. He goes on to say, whoever invites a child to summon a demon is like a person who puts a grenade in their hand to play with. Sooner or later, the child will pull them in and the bomb will explode in their hands. It says oh, the book is part of a trend toward mainstreaming devil worship. See? They want to mainstream devil worship. Now let's not forget a while back also out there in Chicago, they, they, they set up the, uh, the Baphomet statue. You see, so it's a lot of things, bro. It's a lot of things, man. That each brother could bring out different things that they've happened to stumble across of, of, of how 2020 is about to come in. So get, expect them to start mainstreaming devil worship. Hey, you had the show. Um, um, damn, I forget what that American Horror Story. What was it? The eighth season? Complete devil worship. On display. It says, Bamante lamented. It says, as a normal alternative to other religions. See? Bamante lamented, adding that providing such material to children muddles their discernment between what is good and what is bad. Teaching kids to seek help from a demon, a demon, even one that has packaged a package as a child friendly with a beanie hat between the usual horns is like telling them to get help from a criminal, he said. See? While the book is presented by publisher Kaomi Press as a paranormal parody, perhaps after an abundance of scathing negative reviews for parents slamming it as straight up from the pits of hell, <laughs> garbage, and pure evil, it still puts children at risk of bringing demons into their home and leading them down the path of eternal damnation the exorcist warned you see so there you have it man you know Esau is now selling a, a demon a demon book for children alright and you're not gonna know better the scriptures say teach up a child in the way he should go Esau he has been trying to teach our children up has been trying to train our children up to be uh, uh, sinners, to be straight up willful sinners, and to be completely on the left hand side. So if they go into this book, summon a demon, you know, and a demon turns their dinner into cookies, he's gonna think that that's his friend. The next thing you know, he's gonna be a damn Satan worshiper. So these are times we're coming into, man. I'm just going to give one scripture real quick and end it off. Um, Romans chapter 11 verses uh, 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 Romans chapter 13 verse 11 which says and that knowing the time that now it is high time to wake out of sleep for now is our salvation nearer than when we believed. Alright? So um, with that man I'm going to say Shalom.